Madison, one of the best in boxing. And, and, and he's pointing out to Holly Tunaway, nice outfit, but you're not wearing any shorts, so I'm going to have to improvise on, on where the low blows are. Creates an issue. Now, Holly Dunaway said she is going to try and be more aggressive early in this fight. She said, I won't come out wildly aggressive. I'll pick my spots, but I will certainly press her more. Wendy Rodriguez said she was going to do the same thing, so we may have a very interesting first round here, and we are so far. Dunaway, though, really establishing the jab while showing some good lateral motion, and Wendy bobbing and weaving and trying to throw that right hand over the left of Holly Dunaway. Holly Dunaway, at the mention of 23, with 27 pro fights, has bought the fought the best in two weight divisions, won a couple of titles. It's interesting, like Janine Garside, who we're going to see uh, in our next fight, has already won titles at a very early age. And she is planning some good combinations early here against Wendy Rodriguez. And the 10-round distance shouldn't be a, an issue for either one, because as you're mentioning, how they're all fought for so many world titles. Holly Dunaway's been the 10-round distance seven times already in her career. Wendy Rodriguez six times. Nice overhand right by Rodriguez after Dunaway landed a, a good right hand. Rodriguez squaring herself up a little bit too much, and Dunaway taking advantage by landing some pretty good shots. Just about 30 seconds to go here in the round. And one of the things that, that Dunaway was doing, and I think she started to adjust already when she got hit with that right, is she was dropping her left after the jab and just leaving it down there. Up, 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 down. Bring him up. Stop. Left took downstairs by Holly Dunaway. She's a good body puncher, as is Wendy Rodriguez. Just flying early here. This is not a feeling out round. Not even close. Stop. Step back. here tonight and she had a good first round now Wendy Rodriguez you know, she only had six amateur fights has learned as a pro uh, to move herself to that 18 4 and 3 record and now by the way has become an MMA artist and already had a mixed martial arts fight in which she won and didn't win by boxing but won on a near a rear naked choke uh, hold submission so she was pretty Look proud out. of herself Look out. Al, how do you feel about that crossover as far as Boxers doing both sports. Women boxing are do, boxers are doing it more because it provides a better economic opportunity for them. And Wendy's an example. She said, "I'm going to continue to do both." It's tricky because you know they, they take this a different disciplines. Now this round, we're seeing some good action. Wendy Rodriguez pressing the action, getting hit with good power punches by Dunaway. Good uppercut by Dunaway on the inside. Holly Dunaway does not lose her composure when she's faced with this kind of attack. But a Hell of an attack right now, though, by, by Wendy. And I've got to say, Wendy said to me, she goes, I'm going to cut off the ring. And sometimes that's easier said than done, but she's doing a very good job of it. She is in this round. But when they get on the inside, it's a give and take. Both 
Both boxers landing some really good shots. But yeah, this is the kind of fight Wendy would probably right, like to try out, and make. Out. And the round two, and a very good one for Wendy Rodriguez as she punctuates it with a good right hand at the end. A lot of aggression in that last round from Wendy Rodriguez, and she did land some, some good shots. Also got hit with some counter punches, but that was a nice right hand. That was one of her best punches in the fight. You notice she ties up Dunaway on the inside. That was probably the best shot of the round for Wendy Rodriguez, and she continued to wail away on the inside. And another overhand right gets there for when you right. Sí. Well, as we start round number three, it's going to be interesting to see if Wendy Rodriguez can keep that momentum up. She was cutting off the ring and certainly forcing the fight on the inside. She wants to pressure Dunaway. There were a lot of, now, I have to say, I know you're probably going to disagree with me. I gave Dunaway the last round. And the reason I did is because I thought she landed better Stop. counter punches Stop on back. the inside. And, and you, you cheated and looked over my sheet. And you know that I gave the round to Wendy. There you go, which is that's okay. It's a little difference of opinion. And, and it could go either way. And, and Wendy Rodriguez stylistically did better in round number two because she got on the inside. There's the straight right hand from Dunaway. Dunaway would like a little more um, distance between the two of them, certainly. And Wendy's job is to, to cut it in half. And I think Dunaway's doing now in the third round what she did so well in the first round. Is she's a lot more lateral motion. She's using the jab to keep Wendy off. And Wendy not doing quite as good a job of getting on the inside and cutting off the ring on Dunaway. Wendy Rodriguez said, you know, uh, she feels Holly Dunaway okay. steals rounds, okay. especially at the end with a lot of flurries and activity, and her mission was to try and prevent that. And she certainly tried, did that in the last round where she was very aggressive. Right now, though, Dunaway certainly having her way with her. Under 40 seconds to go again. Women's boxing, two-minute rounds. Nice right hand by Dunaway. And Rodriguez was wary of the counter-punching of Holly Dunaway, and for two of the three rounds, that's certainly been the case. Good left-right combination knocked Rodriguez back. Rodriguez certainly not able to pick up where she left off. In round number two. Dunaway's corner doing a good job adjusting her. Good action fight. Good strong finish again. Talk about stealing around for Holly Dunaway at the end of the third. Time! When there's distance for Dunaway, it works better for her. She faints with the jab, lands the very good straight left hand, right hand, and then comes with the hook as the third punch in that combination. Trying to get in there. Long gap, you can't get to it. Now that we take a look at a veteran. You want to talk about women's boxing veteran Chevelle Hallback. And uh, maybe she didn't like our stage as she walks off the camera. <laughs> she left, but for a little while we saw her. 36-year-old who is an icon in the sport. 26-5-2, and two, and she has fought everybody you can imagine in women's boxing. And we'll see her in our next bout against Janine Garside, both of them multiple world champions. She'll be fighting for the lightweight title and 135 pounds tonight. Watch your heads. Watch your head. Holly Dunaway looking very happy between rounds, Al. She seems to be having a good time here tonight. I'll tell you why she's happy, and it speaks to how a lot of these women feel about this. They're very excited about tonight as a night where they can showcase their skills to a wider audience on a more important stage. And she approaches this uh, sport with a lot of joy, 